SQL we need in order to uh, fill in the list view. We're going to use these fields and we'll use them for every selection. So there's information that can be constant in this. We get most of these fields from the uh, audiobooks aliased by B. But we also need to get the symbolic name of the type from the book type. So we're going to need to do a join on a, the AB type table aliased by T. Then we're going to need the uh, subquery that only looks at format types of uh, board type that we discussed previously. And finally the thing that we have in every SQL statement is the order by title. Then there's variable information which is basically two clauses or potentially two clauses. The B dot author equals Robert Heinlein in this case which of course would only be if we clicked on Robert Heinlein and the B dot done not equal to one in the case we have uh, we only want to look at unread books. So what code do we actually need to add to the after select uh, event handler to to deal with this? We have three variables str sql, str author, and str type which are the str sql is the SQL Server string which is going to vary based on the tree type and what actual element was selected. And what I highlighted there is the constant information we were talking about. Then I checked the uh, past information to the event handler to see if it's our list all books uh, tree item. And if it is, we don't need the two sub clauses at all. In fact, we want to not have the two subclauses, so we look at every possible book. But then we do our uh, finite state automaton get state to determine what state we're in. And if we're in the author unread state, we're going to need both of the clauses. In the first case, we're going to need the uh, clause of the B author equals qualified by the e.node.tag dot to string which is passed to the event handler when it's invoked the information of what node was actually clicked on and you'll notice in this clause that we have single quotes on either side of the field we're concatenating in and that's because it's a string field and that's a TSQL convention if it's a number we have no single quotes and then we have the B dot done not equal to one because this is an unread state. And we need to do essentially the identical thing with the all state except we leave the B dot done off. Then for the type unread state we're going to get the uh, value from the E dot node dot tag dot to string and we're converting it to a string even though it's a number because we need to concatenate it into our, our substring for the clause. So here we concatenate it into our SQL string and notice there's no single quotes when we uh, concatenate in the str type. And then once again we have the uh, and b dot done not equal to one because it's a read clause. And then once again we do the identical thing with the all state but we leave the b dot done clause off and finally we concatenate in the order by title after the whole uh, switch case statement because that's going to be for everybody including the list all books guy and then we have the ado dot net information where we create the sql command object set up our connection to our shared connection and in this case we set the command text of the the SQL command to our SQ, STR SQL statement that we've just created and we create our SQL data reader object from the SQL command execute reader and we have to clear the uh, items 
because if we're doing this over and over they'll start to accumulate so you notice we have a uh, LSV list detail dot items dot clear and then we go on to a while loop of the ADO or the audio book dot read where we iterate through each of the uh, audio book records that we've read in with when we instantiated our SQL data reader and initially we set the title to uh, the the first uh, list view item field then we create a list view sub item and set the first at list view sub item to author then the second list view sub item to type the third list view sub item to the number of uh, tapes field and then we have a little special handling for audiobook done and that if it's one we set the sub list the list view sub item to yes and if it's not, we set it to no, so it looks a bit little better than the zeros and ones. And finally, for the location, we read in the audio book box field, set it to string, and trim it. And once the compound list view item has been created with all its list view item subfields, we add it to the control. And finally, uh, outside the loop, we close the audio book. So it can essentially use the uh, SQL data reader over and over, which we have to as we click on multiple items. So if I click on Gene Al, I see all my Gene Al books, whether they're red or not, since I don't have the red check mark. And then if I click on various other books, I see the books appear in the detailed view. And what we really want to look for is a book author that we've read some of his books and not read some other of his books so you can see what books we haven't read and uh, test the uh, unread checkbox to make sure we see just those books so Robert Heinlein looks like a good candidate we've read some of them and we haven't read others of them so we click the unread book the unread uh, checkbox and then we go down to Robert Heinlein and click on him again and sure enough only the books that we saw as being unread are displayed so that works correctly and now we want to test the type so we click on type and get all our tinted. click on baseball I actually read one of those but what the heck that's one of the reasons I need this program is to edit books that I've read to change that field and then if we click on our list all books you see from 0 1 virtual mode which starts with a number so it's at the very top down to the the Z books I list every book I have in the database the Zen mind and zero game so that's all working great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and remember to focus.